Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out! Hey everyone, I'm Lorenzo and in this video I'm going to talk about all Tony Hawk games on the GBA. Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2 was very well received when it came out. The way Vicarious Vision managed to translate the Tony Hawk formula onto a tiny GBA file is impressive. Doing tricks feels good. You get the tricks from the game, flip, grab, grind. Actually, you could say that to some extent you get the very same game, translated onto the GBA. There is a very obvious downside in the game. Can you spot it? Yes, of course, the isometric view. And the camera that is too zoomed in. It's hard to tell the elevation in the game. And unless you know the maps from memory, you will have a hard time figuring out what objects will appear on the map. It's hard to tell the elevation in the game. And unless you know the maps from memory, you will have a hard time figuring out what object will appear on the map. This is an annoyance especially when you are doing career challenges, which can get very tough due to the isometric view. But overall the game is impressive. It features almost all of the levels in the game, in the original game, all of the game modes from the OG Pro Skater 2, excluding the level editor. But while the game was impressive at the time, and it's amazing that the GBA can handle such a thing, and I consider it a wonder on the GBA. The game is good mostly for novelty reasons. I don't recommend you play it nowadays. It aged, but it didn't age well. It's still fun though, but since PS1 emulation can be handled by most devices nowadays, you have better options. Pro Skater 3 is very similar to Pro Skater 2. It has different maps, this time 6 of them just like the other game, but it also has a creative skater mode and you can now do reverts, which are useful in combos. Also the graphics look a little more crisp and you have many nice little details and nice touches that make you want to go and thank Vicarious Vision personally for making the game. Pro Skater 4 improves upon the formula. The game brings more moves, namely spine transfers and grind transitions, also the game isn't as difficult as the others. Instead of having multiple objectives in a map, Pro Skater 4 has a mission system. This way you can concentrate on a single objective. And this helps a lot with the zoomed in isometric view. But as improved as the game is, it's disappointing to see that the game has less attention to detail in level design. Tony Hawk Underground isn't like the other versions. Instead, Underground on the GBA is like a follow-up of Pro Skater 4 on the GBA. You don't get a story with cutscenes like the other versions, the game is structured like Pro Skater 4 on the GBA. It tries to copy the maps from the big version as much as it can and adds activities on the map. You talk to people and enter missions. Though even if you don't get a story with cutscenes, you still get RPG elements. You get a lot of text to read, which isn't that much of a plus. There are additions too. It follows the same tradition of adding more onto the formula. You get the create a deck feature that goes very well along with the create a skater feature. Also just like the original underground, here too you have on foot controls. But it's annoying that you get a health bar in a skating game. If your health bar drops to zero, you fail the mission. You can buy pads and helmets to get more health, but even so, it's a disaster to have health in a game where it's hard to even know what comes next on the map. It's torture. Thug 2 on the GBA finally introduces one of my favorite moves, wall plants. It also has Nata spins and the freakout mode, just like in Thug 2, the OG version. The graphics have been toned down, or at least to my eyes the graphics look worse, and in some parts horrible even. They are more colorful but are also less crisp, and the level designs have less attention to detail. And they tone down something else too, and I am thankful for that. The game doesn't have the annoying health bar anymore. And the game doesn't force you to finish challenges until you hit a certain hour on the clock anymore. Also I like that mission givers are easier to spot on the map. American Skateland is in gameplay similar to Thug 2, only that now they manage to make the game annoying with something else. The maps are big and you have the camera zoomed in, 
you don't have a map. If you want to access missions in the game, in some instances, you have to find objects on the map first. And after finding the objects on the map, you don't know where they are, you have to find the people associated with the set of collectibles you found. The game doesn't tell you anything. No map, no waypoint, you are on your own in a zoomed in isometric camera. If you just skate around in this game, it's not a problem. But if you want to progress in this game, you will know how crap the game can be. Tony Hawk Downhill Jam is in my opinion a failed attempt of 3D graphics on the GBA. The game looks horrible and the popping objects on the map look underwhelming. On the good side though, at least the game controls nice. The game is actually more of a racing game than a skating game. You race downhill while also being able to do some tricks and collect stuff on your way down. The game isn't exciting, but I can't say bad things about the game either. It takes you around 1 hour to finish the game, it's pretty much what you'd expect from the game. Also there are 10 of these ugly racing tracks in the game. Overall I didn't like the game, but I didn't hate it either. Overall it's disappointing to see how the franchise went downhill. The first pro skater game on the GBA was highly impressive. It was a very good translation of the original title onto the GBA. Then Pro Skater 3 improved the formula, being better than Pro Skater 2. Pro Skater 4 improved some aspects of Pro Skater 3 but also was a step down in other aspects. And same goes for the two thug games. American Wasteland is good only if you just want to roam in the map, because otherwise if you want to progress in the game you will see how crap the game actually is and Downhill Jam is just there. Ok so this was the video, if you liked it please hit the like button and subscribe, if you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section, you will help me a lot. If you want you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord and if you want to see another video of mine just wait till I stop talking and terribly thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.